All right, so first off, I want to say sorry about last video. I wanted to do commentary, but my roommate wanted to see what this game was like, so he came in my room, and we were talking, and he was on his phone, so I just didn't want that to be background noise. Also, sorry if at all during this episode you hear road construction noise, because they are doing it right outside my window, so I have really no control over that. Hopefully they won't be too loud, though. The worst you'll hear is, like, a truck backing up. What is this? I really want to, like, beat the main story and then go back and do the side quest. Um. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? That was the problem. That's what I was I'm ready at. for the spear din. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of does war. does need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Come, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Yeah, I low-key kind of feel like this is Throwing a bad idea. Throwing a boy who stinks of fear to a pack of wolves is not the best way to train him. Are you sure that's what Cheowulf wants? Mm, he left it open for interpretation. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. Cool. <laughs> you have to endure, my brother. He always hey. finds new ways to humor himself. I kind of like him. Mind. But, I mean, he's kind of an idiot, but I kind of like him. He looks kind of greasy, terrible. though. The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from True. who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands, a place called Fonberg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> she straight up just was called them all. Was a mass exodus from Norway, <laughs> then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harold by name, a boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harold, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive. Truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harold is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Hey, he never said his age, did he? Coming, young so how would you know? This day on, 
you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want to Oh, I was like, what is that? I thought it was something fucked up, but it's a boat on a river. That makes much more sense. <laughs> In truth, children, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger. Not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse. Whoopsies, I did not mean to first. turn a good around. line, boy. Were you not an Adeline, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott. Our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. Those pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. <laughs> I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog, you're all the same to me, all godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more. We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back my to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! I really like the other guy in the armor. Eivor, I feel like he's pretty intelligent. Tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Who are you? I'm with man. the Regnesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. That was a weird we animation for a second. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's attack. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Why don't we just leave him here? Jailbeth. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Mm. Mm. I'm wondering at what point is the animus going to switch to the guy? I 
I might just switch to the guy pretty soon. Because I kind of want to play as him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do this. Destroy the gate! Slaughter the soldiers. Leave the king to me. Where are they shooting from? Am I supposed to... Oh. Let's go! Rod, back. Arch! Draw back to where that gets yellow. I hate the shield dudes. They're so obnoxious. Fuck your shit. Oh, fuck. Alrighty. Hang on. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy. The path is blocked! We must destroy that barricade! Alright, hang on guys. <laughs> Fuck you, shit. <laughs> Fuck you, nerd. Let's hit them hard! Charge! Yeah. Charge! It's just me on this thing. Why can't I move? <laughs> Fucking get out of there! I didn't want to be in there, but it wouldn't let me move. Protect Fuck the ramp. You. Fuck. You know. Come! We beat the Raven! Charge! Okay, fuck. Get out of here. You are obnoxious and killed all my friends. Come on! Let's go! Ram! Alright, it's got like two more of that. Take cover! Yes! Charge! I just needed that. Okay, fuck you. Okay, fuck you. H. I 
he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Stop. Get fucked, nerd. Ooh, shit. I gotta get out of here. I gotta, I gotta... Eat, eat, eat. I gotta find, like, the other ones. Who am I supposed to kill? Ooh, I just fucked that guy. He's dead. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Go up here, I guess. Alrighty. <laughs> Defeat his elites. I think it's them talking, but they're just so far away, like it's glitched. Fucking quick. Okay. Okay, this guy just fucking. Fuck you. Fuck you, nerd. Oh, right through the head. Let's go, baby. Nice. Mike off. Mike on. Time to enter homeboys. Oh, hang on. It's over, Burgret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Alright, fuck it. I'll loot afterwards. Arrows. Let's force this bitch open. Mic off. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. No way he fell asleep that fast. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tana Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. Well, we gotta go meet her. We're wasting time. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word. If you would. Go. I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Sabor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier. With Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. 
He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Yeah, Eva is a kind of a, you know, angry man. And well, just keep your wits about you. Calm, Eva. Me and Ava will take care of you. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Eva and Oba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. Yeah, I agree with that. Truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Eva from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. Hey. I'll hold you to that. Yeah, exactly. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for men and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. I did bring it. Here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. Mm. Sigurd rolling into my camp this brisk day. I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the Empress on the air betrayed me. And yet... If you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Not interested. And why not? I've been told I have a rather expert tongue. Only good for yawping, I see. <laughs> Enough blabbering. You know why we're here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson plots. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. You take me for a fool. I take you for desperate beggars. I can smell it on you like dung heap. Now that's my price. What say you? You heard me the first time. But I'll get what I need one way or another. No, no. You have shot your chance. And if you show your faces around here once more, I will tear you limb from limb. Well, that is not the result I was hoping for. I hope you have another idea. Tona keeps a close eye on whoever she deals with. If Burgred is keeping records, so is she. Somewhere behind those walls. See what you can find. I'll go back to the brothers. Hello. It's locked. If they come within a foot of here, kill them. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. The only thing I can think is it's in that that place. Because that's the only other place with loot in it. And I've looked fucking everywhere, so...